The Safari browser on iPhone and iPad regularly notifies you of elements that can compromise your online safety. One such warning is the your connection is not private in Safari. You've been facing the same error? Here's how to fix that. The first thing you can do is simply clear the browser data and cache to fix this issue. To do that, open the Settings app and tap on Safari. Tap on Clear History and Website Data. And then select Clear History and Data. Once done, simply restart your iPhone or iPad. Another thing you can try is to ensure you have the correct date and time settings on your iPhone. Incorrect settings can also result in Safari showing this error. To fix that, open the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad and navigate to General, Date and Time, and then turn on the toggle for Set Automatically. This ensures that the date and time on your iPhone are set automatically from the internet according to your time zone. There's also the possibility that you might have a VPN running in the background. If there are any issues with the VPN server, in that case, it's best to disable the VPN and try again. To do that, navigate to Settings, General, VPN and Device Management, and ensure you are not connected to any VPN service. While a VPN is system-wide, you might have installed third-party extensions inside of Safari, which might be the cause of this error. Therefore, you can try disabling them to see if they help bypass the this connection is not private error in Safari. To do that, navigate to Settings, Safari, Extensions. Now tap on the extension you wish to disable, and then simply turn off the toggle next to it. Alternatively, it's likely that the fault might be with Safari itself. You can try using a different web browser such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox to check if the issue still persists or not. Lastly, if all else fails and you really need to access the website at any cost, you can simply bypass the error warning. However, we recommend using private mode to ensure there's no harm to your device. To do that, open Safari and tap on the Tabs icon and select the Tab Groups icon. Now select Private and then tap on the plus icon. This will open a private tab. You can then view the website. On the website, when you face the error, tap on Show Details in the Error Message and then tap on Visit this website. Lastly, Tap on Visit Website to open it. Hopefully, you are now able to successfully access the web page of your choice using Safari on your iPhone or iPad. If you like this guide, make sure to follow and subscribe to Guiding Tech for more tutorials related to your everyday technology. And make sure to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.